Hi mom, how's it going? I'm doing fantastic. Yesterday was not a fantastic day because it was all grey and yuck after such a nice sunny day the day before. Um, this episode is about living in the Swedish forest slash lake area slash countryside it's it's all of those things really well one of the wonderful things about living in a forest is that there's lots of rocks to jump down from so on Easter the family was over and there were these two little boys and I was like their entertainment for the day because I'm wonderful. Um, and so then we went outside for a walk and then they were climbing up these huge boulders and jumping down from them. Wow. And then of course I got to do that too and I was a bit nervous because, you know, it's been a long time since I've jumped down from, from boulders. But I did fantastically, you know. You could even say that I might have outdid them. It's all a matter of perspective. Uh, so, lots of natural entertainment. Talking about natural entertainment. Today I saw the woodpecker again. There are lots of different types of woodpeckers. But this one's... A black and white one with red parts and he looks like a bit of a douchebag but I love seeing him oh yeah because in the winter time he was like a woodpeckering on the on the house at crazy times you know oh so annoying mm, the other thing is that with the different seasons, there's always different things to do. So this time around being in Borlana, I I did ice hole fishing. I didn't catch anything, but I still did it. And the tradition is, is that on Easter Friday, you get up at 5 a.m. and go out and do your, your fishing. But I didn't get up at that time. It's not really for me. Um, and it was really nice to see everybody out there. Oh, and because, because like, if you do it, if you go into town and do it, then every, like, there'll be lots of people on the lake. So you can go out there and, and have a good time meeting all the townsfolk. But we didn't do that. Um, also, you can have lots of farm work to do. Woo! So this week I have been doing some dragging of parts of trees around to their designated area because the plan is to build a fence around a garden to stop the wind getting in but the best part is that we're going to make the wind pay for it um and then so you you, like, you keep busy and and then weird stuff happens like yesterday we had two two thirty fika in the glass house so I went there and there was coffee and there was cake. But then all of a sudden there was rum and whiskey. So then I'm sitting there with the, with all the oldies and we're drinking rum and whiskey. And it's just, you know, it was unexpected. So that's, that's what happens. You turn into this, this other being. Um... On the sunny day, I biked into town, so it was like 5k's there, 5k's back. Um, 
And obviously, if you didn't live in a forest, you would never get the opportunity to bike into town. And it was really fun. Except, so, we, we were biking on the road, sort of out of the forest to get to the main road. And that was going well. But then, all of a sudden, you know, I'm biking down the main road, and there's cars coming at me. And I'm like... But Shell, aren't we on the wrong side of the road? And and he said, no, 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 no. But then after a little while, he was like, oh yeah, yeah we are. So then we had to go on the other side of the road, and it was you know rough. But but we did it. Hmm. Yeah. It's also really quiet, and there are a bunch of cranes that have just come in, and um, they are they are obnoxious. Mm. So there's plenty to do when you live in a forest and near a lake, and in the summertime, I can go swimming in the lake. And sauna, I can still do sauna. I'm doing a sauna tonight. Yeah, it's really cool. It's the wee bitch forest living. I'm gonna buy a house here above here forever. And then I'll start up a camp. It'll be a nature camp. And maybe I'll do like a bed and breakfast thing. But I'll only let people eat cornflakes. It's gonna be good. Okay, hey door.